Hey guys, so just cleaning some chairs and before I wrap them and put them away, we have actually ordered some covers as well. So instead of wrapping like we are doing now, it'll be nice to just cover them quickly. It's quicker and then you save on this plastic wrapping that you see everywhere. But I wanted to show you something with um, these types of chairs specifically, specifically the fan back style. Now I've noticed these are becoming more popular, okay? Um, because they're cheaper to buy and they end up being cheaper to rent. They're super easy to stack. They're a good alternative for the white resin chairs. But I want to show you something. They have this little annoyance when it comes to stacking. And the annoyance is, and if you want to come closer here, is that when you're putting another chair on top of a pile and you're moving it forward, it doesn't actually, it's hard to tell, but it's actually not locked into place. What do you want to do is you want to make sure, and this is kind of a weird thing, but you want to make sure this lip here actually goes over this chair. So it's like the second chair in the stack. Um, so it's kind of weird. So you can see this is a chair, but it's actually a chair below that. You want this lip here to go under that chair. So I'll try to do it slowly, but what I do is I push it in and then I give it a tiny bit of a lift and then you can see it actually locks into place. So now it's locked into place. It's really solid. And if you don't do that, you'll end up offsetting each um, chair a little bit and the, the, the pile will kind of go out like this and it'll be awkward to push. Plus it won't be ultra secure because that chair won't actually be locked into place. So it's all, it's kind of weird. It's kind of difficult sometimes with these fan backs to stack them because of that little locking trick that I just showed you there. Um, when I have three or four or more, what I do is I try to push it in and sometimes you get lucky like that. It does, it, it locks into place. But sometimes for whatever reason, it just won't want to lock into place. So what you do is I kind of give it a little bit of a lift, just a bit of a lift, because if you do it too much, it'll go over the, the, the other chair. So it's kind of weird. You kind of want to give it, a, you want to push it and at the same time, just give it a tiny bit of a lift at the very end for it to uh, lock into place. As you can see, locked into there. It wasn't wanting to do that uh, before that. So you see, it's not locking in. You're like, oh, what's going on? It's not locking in. And again, it's, it's not good because it's loose like that. You, you want to kind of give it a bit of a lift at the end and then it'll, it'll lock into place. You can see, and you can tell if it's locked, if it's nice and smooth. I think actually right here, there might be a, a place where it's not locked in. I'll have to check that. Maybe, maybe it just seems that way. But uh, if you really do want it to be nice and flat here, otherwise the pile is not as secure as uh, it might seem. Uh, so again, if there's that little weird trick there that you want that lip, this weird lip here thing, but that's not weird, but you want this to be locked into the <laughs> place for the second, uh, chair and the same goes like if you're if you're lifting these uh chairs and putting them on again and they are kind of really awkward because of that little quark so again you kind of want to give it a little bit of a lift and then you're good and the, the stack is nice and straight and, and plump so that's it that's the quick tip for today guys take it easy we'll see you later i'm gonna get back to work here